<laughs> Y'all know what it is. With hydrogen vehicles, um, it's a chemical process that converts the hydrogen into storage for the batteries and the batteries power the cars. So batteries are the the waste, the the product that's coming in and, and causing, you know, like Ryan was saying, like uh, creating the batteries itself is what's what's being, you it know, the waste. lithium. It may not be carbon waste, but it is waste. It is waste. And it's not, I mean, what happens when the battery's done? What, what do you do with it? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. With ammonia, wasn't your vehicle, you start it with gas for 30 seconds and then it runs off the ammonia itself so it's still a combustion engine? Is that yeah. what you think is the solution so we don't well, have to well, have the batteries? There's no question. Well, it's, it's highly technical, but let's sort of cut to the chase so that your, you and your viewers and listeners can understand. Okay. An internal combustion engine burns a fuel. And it can be any fuel. Okay. We, we can convert internal combustion engines to run on hydrogen or ammonia uh, in multiple ways. You can use an additive. You can crack the ammonia. Uh, you can burn, you can do compression and burn diesel fuel, get the engine warmed up and unload, go 95% diesel. You can start for 30 seconds or 15 seconds with gasoline and then go 100% ammonia. There are multiple ways to utilize this technology in internal combustion engines. The point that has to be made is this. Internal combustion engines are very, very, very good with batteries, with hybrids. The best propulsion system we could ever make would be an ammonia-fueled vehicle with an electric propulsion system because electric is highly efficient. The problem is storing the friggin' electricity. Yeah. So follow me. A lot of the energy wasted in battery vehicles or used in battery vehicles is A, for heating and cooling. You're in 100 degree or 90 degree weather. You're not, you have to have air conditioning. Well, batteries are not real, real good at converting electrical energy into air conditioning that way. Ah, the battery. Well, the battery has to be heated or cooled. If the battery isn't heated or cooled, you'll have losses in the battery. So the very best technology is an internal combustion engine that runs on hydrogen, cracked out of ammonia, stored in that vehicle. Now, that internal combustion engine can be an electric engine and it can drive electric propulsion. And because you have an internal combustion engine, you have waste heat. <laughs> and that waste heat gives you the heat for the vehicle or with a heat exchanger gives you the cooling for the vehicle and gives you the heating and cooling for the battery. So would you would this essentially would this essentially be a combustion engine yep. that is burning the hydrogen uh, pulled from the ammonia and then the engine itself would have like an alternator that would power the drivetrain it makes electricity instead of the engine making thrust making horsepower it would make electricity and that electricity would run the electric propulsion system in the vehicle at 99% efficiency so essentially your battery would just be to start the vehicle, not to store the energy. Oh, a small amount of storage because there'll be, there'll be obviously a certain amount of lag between uh, you know, generating uh, power on demand, right? But we wouldn't need batteries anywhere near the size of what we have today in electric vehicles. And that's well, the whole point. So like- You could reduce the demand of batteries by a hundred times, which means we probably would have the resources to convert a lot more vehicles over to clean fuel than we ever could convert them to pure battery power. Well, so like a Tesla, is that for just example, a, a matter of efficiency. Oh, sorry, Mike, go ahead. I was just saying, like an, a, a Tesla, for example, the the battery is the entire bottom of the car. It's the the whole 
bottom of it is a battery. And that a lot of weight there. A lot of weight, which is a huge you carry problem. around. So that's why hydrogen's a, a solution because it doesn't weigh as much and well, you have a smaller battery. Hydrogen's right. not a solution in a direct comparison because you know if you're gonna use hydrogen, you got a ten thousand PSI tank in your truck. Yeah. Okay. So ammonia, yes, hydrogen by itself, no. Okay. You have to have the most dense fuel or energy carrier you can in a mobile application and the most efficient powertrain. Okay. So, so what are they? Electric is the most efficient powertrain, no question. So then people say, oh, batteries are 80 or 98% efficient and internal combustion engines are only 20% efficient. I say, wait, 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 oops, wait, we got to get that grade three math in there. Sorry to confuse you, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you, that coal you're burning is not 100% efficient. That coal you're burning is 30% efficient. Yeah. Ryan, what were you going to try and say earlier when I cut you uh, off? Well, what I was going to ask is, so Greg mentioned that, um, you know, it, we could reduce the size of the battery or we wouldn't need total uh, battery storage in an electric vehicle, for example. We had this little combustion engine cranking energy. But I wondered if it was just, is it a matter of efficiency that we can't get to like a one-to-one -one replacement in real time that we would need to store? Or, it, I mean, is there such a thing as maybe with some future technology or something that we could get to where we can create all, you know, enough energy for our needs in real time via this, you know, this platform, you know, running a, this combustion engine? You can store 12 times as much energy BTU to BTU or kilowatt to kilowatt in ammonia than you can in any battery that's ever existed. 